morning. Good morning. Welcome to St. Francis of Assisi on the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Special welcome for those who are visiting us today. We gather today, as we do each Sunday, as a body of Christ. Jesus called us to love God with all our heart, all our soul, all our mind, and all our strength, and love our neighbor as ourselves. This Valentine's Day, we commit ourselves to nurturing that love for God and love for our neighbor. Let the body and blood of Christ we receive in the Eucharist bring us the strength and courage to truly become the body of Christ in the world today. Please stand.
or to one of the priests among his descendants. If the man is leprous and unclean, the priest shall declare him unclean by reason of the sore on his head. The one who bears the sore of leprosy shall keep his garments rent and his head bare, and shall muffle his beard. He shall cry out, Unclean! Unclean! As long as the sore is on him, he shall declare himself unclean, since he is in fact unclean. He shall dwell apart, making his abode outside his camp. The word of the Lord. reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God. Avoid giving offense, whether to the Jews or Greeks or the church of God. Just as I tried to please everyone in every way, not seeking my own benefit, but that of the many, that they may be saved. Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thank 
be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. A leper came to Jesus and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched him, and said to him, I do will it. Be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately, and he was made clean. Then, warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. He said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. <clears throat> he spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in the certain places, and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Thursday, and we have the Feast of Our Lady of the Lords, and so in the evening, after our CIA, I was on the internet, and I suddenly saw this message about a lady over there in France, a religious sister, Sister Andrea. She lived through two world wars, and she never experienced the Spanish flu in 1917, but she did have the COVID. She recovered from that virus. She's 117 years old. So, there are people in this world, they live a short life and others seem to live on forever. This leper in St. Mark's Gospel, like others in that day, they, he felt that his life was, soon would come to an end. With great suffering, there he is. He knelt down before our Lord Jesus and begged and saying, if you, can, if you wish, you can make me clean. Jesus, he stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I do will it be made clean. The leper with his own eyes observed the cure, seeing his deformities fade away, and also the despair, the disappearance of those ugly, unsightly skin sores. He was made whole, and upon witnessing such a wonderful cure, Jesus said, See that you tell no one, go show yourself to a priest. He obeyed one of the orders and went to the priest, but he disobeyed, and he began to proclaim it among the community. Anyone, anyone would have a difficult time in keeping a healing incident a secret. In ancient days, leprosy was seen as a punishment from God, a curse for sinfulness. The book of Leviticus had various guidelines and restrictions as we hear in that first reading today. It states that one who bears a sore of leprosy shall muffle his beard and cry out, unclean, unclean. Throughout history, lepers have been shunned and scorned, ostracized and feared. This year, in the light of the pandemic, we've received a, a taste of what it is like to be isolated from others, from society. These lepers, they want to spend a, a few weeks in isolation or a few months. It was real. It was for the rest of their life. To be isolated from their sole support, a community branded with the name of separating sickness. 
what is it that separates us from true and lasting peace? While at the hospital this past week, I listened to several confessions. This one elderly man, and he's 85, he had several interruptions in the course of my visit. And when did I tell him I shall return? And so when I returned again, he said, what do you want? Immediately I said, well, I want to hear your confession. And he said, well, I can wait. He says, why wait? I says, you're 85. And I told him, a dog sits on the couch or on the floor and sees his master all the time. He likes to see the master. So it is for us as Christians. Our master is invisible. And so I, I said, oh, it's an easy process. I'll just take you right through it. So he says, okay. So afterwards, he gave me a handshake. Twice. He held out his hand. I just bumped knuckles with him. And he said, he said to me twice, he says, I'm glad I met you. These two sacraments, the anointing of the sick and reconciliation, that bring healing to so many people. And people procrastinate about both of them. And it's kind of like a child who refuses to, to swallow a pill. I'm thinking about the long life of Sister Andre, 117 years of life, and spending so many of those years in the monastery to be born, to be born on the feast of Our Lady of Lords. No doubt that was a great point of her discernment program in her youth to become a religious sister. Think of how many times she attended that sacrament of reconciliation, the Mass, the Eucharist. How many times she had heard that one had fallen in the monastery, or one who had died, or there's 40 days of Lent. The Lent season is about to begin where we think and act upon heartfelt prayer, fasting, and charitable works. Prayer is a good remedy to keep ourselves clean of sin, an infection that seems to be spreading more and more in society. In the Latin season, we make alternatives to abandon some of the, the noise of the world, like television or radio, or completely abandon all social media that can seem like a virus in this new age and addiction for too many. One positive aspect of the present pandemic is that the virus has brought many families closer together. In many ways, our lives have slowed down. On the other hand, some people get itchy and impatient, or they're fed up with restrictions, wearing masks, they want to travel. My sister-in-law told me this past week, she says, well, this cold weather will kill the bugs. And I said, well, I said later to myself, I said, I hope it kills this COVID bug. Today, many will be traveling on President's Day. So we need to pray that they have a safe journey. While many know they are ill, we can suffer physical symptoms, our spiritual symptoms of the leprosy of, of one spiritual condition could be just unforgiveness towards somebody who we'll let us contemplate what we are about to do during this Ash Wednesday that we celebrate this upcoming week. What can we do in our lives to to rise to another level, to be more diligent in our prayer, as St. Paul tells us today. Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do everything for the glory of God.
together, let us profess our faith in God. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, from the Father and for all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not many, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit who was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and he became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to the Lord and the judge of the living and as you need the Lord, I have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord of your liberal life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in the one and holy and Catholic and Apostolic Church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world. And confidently we bring a petition before Almighty God. For the church, that in, in an imitation of Jesus, we may break down barriers by including the outcasts, the forgotten, the refugee, the immigrants, and the sinners in stretching our love of neighbor to every corner of society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our leaders may make every effort to truly see those who, who usually overlooked and consider them when making decisions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have diseases, that prevent them from fully participating in their, com their communities and for those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For all married couples, that they may grow in God's love and be signs of Christ's selfless love for their families, their friends, and each other. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That our parish community might comfort and support those who suffer in relationships that have become strained or fractured. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayers. For the sick, we pray for Father Frank, Maria Guerrero, who suffered a heart attack and went to surgery, for Betty Park, and for all those reading the book of the sick, and for their caregiver, that they be restored to health, and that they be sustained by faith, we pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of this parish, that we trust in Jesus' desire and power to cleanse our souls, we pray to the Lord. Oh, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray also for those who have died. Today we lift up Alva Duncan, that they be celebrating eternal Easter with Jesus' arms, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the prayers that we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us also pray for, for Gerald Corby, who is on his deathbed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, may your blessings come down upon us this day. You are the first light of the morning, and you shed that light through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Chose us a way of perseverance in our prayer life. As we bring these prayers before you, we ask that you grant these. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Oh, mm -hmm. 
fight, we will fight with you. And tonight we will follow you. We will love you age to age. As the eagle flies to the heavens above, on wings of faith, God will bear you up. Age to age, we will love you. Johnny Mike, we will wait with you. As the lilies of the field, be the twilight or spin, what splendor we find in the love God gives. Age to age, we will love you. Dawn in light, we will wait with you. And tonight, we will follow you. We will love you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, food of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will a source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and Almighty, Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adore your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for 
Let's have our way when supper was ended. He took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this all of them and drink from them. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
Taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Oh, taste and see, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Of the Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O oh Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Um, before anything, Maria Guerrero is the, one of the catechists. The confirmation class. Uh, she, I think it was right after mass, went to the hospital and she just had a heart attack and they have to do a bypass uh, the next day. And uh, uh, they called me yesterday. They're, they're doing, she's doing better. Uh, it's scary. And uh, hopefully she'll be back, probably back home, not sure, but, but this coming week. Uh, Father Frank was still there, and he hopes they come out of this week. Just we need to wait and see, but he's in good spirit. 
please be safe. The storm is coming. It is making a lot of announcement about how many inches we're going to get. Uh, um, Ash Wednesday is a schedule for this coming Wednesday. Uh, you made a call if you can make it. Uh, if we are, if we see there's very, uh, it's not a way to get here, so we probably will cancel. But for now, is a schedule. Safety first. You can't come because the driveway is full of uh, uh, snow, so you stay home. Remember, safety first. So uh, hopefully we we'll see you uh, at six o'clock. The mass, all service, and uh, and we we'll see. Uh, birthdays. You. You. I have a lot of fingers. <laughs> Tell you if, if the, the person can come or if it, they decide not to come, they don't have to come. Right? <laughs> 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 Let us pray for our deacon Harry Berto, who leads our church here in Guthrie. And we ask that through the intercession of St. Francis of Assisi, that he Enjoy a wonderful day on his birthday, and may he always be a leader in giving faith to others in our community and being the charitable as well as he always is. And God's blessings upon him and protection of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Anniversary and a couple celebrating wedding anniversary. Yay. Yeah. Let us pray, Roger and Betty, and celebrate another anniversary and may they grow ever closer to one another and may still in couples. In our community, the gracious love, uh, matrimony, holy matrimony, where they share one another their thoughts, feelings, and goodness in our Lord Jesus Christ, who gives them faith, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Слава Богу!